there, I'm a fellow barbecue enthusiast, Mike Baker here, Baker's Barbecue. Hey, today we got the big Merle smoker all fired up. This is a smoker I've had for a long time, about 15, 16 years. It's actually about 25 or 30 years old. I bought it, refurbished it. I mean, it's, this thing is just, it's unbelievable. It's got four, four foot racks. And today we're gonna load this up with a couple of two inch pork chops, or not pork chops, two inch pork steaks. Sorry about that. I've got a spatchcock chicken. And then we're also got some chicken drummies and some chicken wings. So the plan is at 10.30 a.m. I'm gonna put on the two inch pork steaks. 11.30 I'm gonna put on the uh, spatchcock chicken. And at one o'clock I'm gonna put on the chicken drummies and the wings. And it should all come off sometime tonight around between five and six. I'm gonna cook it low and slow and just let it come together. So this big two inch pork steaks will be just tender. I mean, you can eat those with a plastic fork. So we're gonna get these going today, get it going, enjoy the day, enjoy the swimming pool. Smoke's getting me, sorry about that. We're getting late into the season. Today's late August, and we got a couple more good weekends before the weather starts turning on us. So we're gonna get out here today and enjoy the pool, the last beautiful few weekends we've got summer-wise, and just fire up this smoker and get at it. So I hope you guys are firing your smokers up today as well, getting on your pork steaks, chicken whatever it is you got going we get them fired up cook right along with me and let's get to smoking All right, so we're getting the smoker up to temp. I just inserted the thermometer. It's about 150. It's going to climb. I got my top dampers about halfway open. And uh, I've already choked down my bottom dampers. I got them down. They're open about a quarter. So our, everything's here in the firebox along the back. Here's my damper for that. Of course, I got my smokestack. So I'm going to let that temp come on up uh, to right around 250 and uh, let the smoke clear out a little bit and we're gonna get the pork steaks on. And uh, then about an hour later, we'll do the spatchcock chicken. And then a couple hours after that, we'll put on the wings and the chicken drummies. All right there, folks, we're gonna get the uh, pork steaks on first. So what you do is you just open up the lid on the smoker, go over here and hit your, your switch, turn this off. And then from there, Put the pork steaks in. I'm going to do two pork steaks, two inch pork steaks. I'm going to put those on one rack and then later when it's time to do the chickens, I will put the spatchcock chicken on one rack by itself as well and then I'm going to spread out the uh, chicken wings and drummies on these two racks. Get it all set up like that. Just flip the switch. Rotisserie takes back off. And that's all there is to it right there. What we're going to do now is just shut this down, let this smoker do its magic. Okay. 
Okay, I just want to share a little bit of my game plan, uh, how, I'm, how I'm going to cook this meat up today. I didn't really get into that much in the opening part of the video. But as I said in the video, I have two two-inch pork steaks. That's about five and a half, six pounds combined. I've got a spatchcock chicken that's about five and a half pounds. And then I've got about five pounds uh, combined of chicken legs and uh, chicken wings. So the pork steak is going to cook probably somewhere around seven hours. And, uh, and then the spatchcock chicken, I'm thinking somewhere between five and six hours. And then the chicken legs and chicken drummies, uh, excuse me, chicken legs and chicken wings, you're probably looking at three and a half hours on those, somewhere in that range. I like to take the dark meat internal temperature up to about 185, 190. I find it tastes a lot better. It's extremely juicy and it falls off the bone. Plus the skin gets a good crispness, a good crisp uh, part to the skin. So uh, that's kind of my game plan, uh, and we'll see how it works out. So probably end up taking everything off sometime around 6 o'clock this evening, 5 to 6, as I said in the opening part of the video. And uh, depending on if we're ready to eat or not, I'll let it sit and rest for a while, and then we will eat. So I just wanted to share that with you. That's kind of my game plan. We'll see how it plays out. As you know, in barbecue things always turn out a little bit different than expected. All right, so we're gonna get the uh, spatchcock chicken on now. It's been a couple hours on the pork steaks. Get the spatchcock chicken on here. So you wanna always skip a rack as you're putting stuff on this rotisserie to keep it balanced out. So there was the pork steak, skip this rack, and I'll put the chicken on this next rack coming up. Just stop it like that. Stick that sucker up in there. Get those legs repositioned. Just like that. Ready to roll. That's all there is to it. All right, so while I've got this open, I'm gonna go ahead and hit this pork steak with some good spritz. I'm just using a mixture of apple cider vinegar, about 20% uh, apple cider vinegar and 80% water. So you can see this come together good. Oh yeah. That's all there is to it right there. Shut it back down, let it keep on spinning. All right, let's, let's go ahead and get the rest of this meat put on. All right. I'm gonna stagger these chicken legs around the pork steaks here. Got a lot of a lot of chicken to get on here today. Let me tell you what. Kind of stack them in there. We got all total about 15 pounds of meat today, which is a lot of meat. But I enjoy loading this thing up. Makes the day fun. in there like that. All right, we're gonna run this on. Go ahead and spritz these pork steaks as well. Looking darn good. Okay, we're gonna spin this on around till we get to the spatchcock chicken and then we're gonna put on the chicken wings. Got all this stuff, everything shut down today, Becker's Barbecue Competition Rub. Uh, one of the big purposes of today's cook was to do, I think, my last test cook on this from my co-packer. And uh, we're gonna be getting ready to get this thing in the marketplace. Let's stop that there. Start throwing the wings in. Love the way you can load this smoker down. And the rotisserie is just absolutely phenomenal. And you can actually stack this stuff too. I've had as much as 
<clears throat> believe it or not, I've actually had five or six hundred hot dogs in this thing at one time. 100, 200 hamburgers. And uh, I mean, you can stack it, just keep stacking them in here. And you gotta, just every once in a while, you can rotate it out. All right, let's get it going. All right, we're gonna shut it back down. Let this get back at it. We'll be back in a little while.